got into it for my brother, who liked the series and always read the books. My grandmother bought me the book. My mom started reading them. When I was in first grade, my parents took me to go see the first movie, and I loved it, and then I started reading the books. I first got into Harry Potter after seeing the first movie. Um, my sisters were already into the books, and so they encouraged me to read the novel. My family was very into the series before I started reading it. So when it came time for me to start reading books in general, my mother just handed me a Sorcerer's Stone. Well, the first time I started reading it when I was a little kid, my granddad, she's English and she was born and raised in England, so she, she told me about this series. My favorite character would have to be a tie between both Hermione and Bellatrix. I always thought it was cool how their personalities were basically on the opposite ends of the Harry Potter personality spectrum, which always made the book more interesting for me. My favorite character is Snape because he kind of has the whole, like, I'm kind of a good guy, but I'm kind of a bad guy kind of deal. Probably Hermione Granger because, um, I don't know, I just felt like I could relate to her. Tom Riddle because he is multi-dimensional. My favorite character has to be the one and only Harry Potter himself just because everything revolves around him. I like Snape because he was an anti-hero and he wasn't all good or all bad. Dumbledore is my favorite character because he can literally do anything and no one in the book at all will ever doubt that. He is the most powerful wizard on the planet. I think it's made me a much more intelligent person. It helped me develop my vocabulary and just like my speaking skills in general. Harry Potter affected me by getting me into reading, expanding my vocabulary. It was a really big part of my childhood led me into thinking differently and it added newer Latin words into my vocabulary. I had a few people say I kind of look like him, just, just without this car. So after a while I thought I might make an appearance during Halloween. I did that a few times actually, dressed up like him. And it was a lot of my childhood, that's what it was, it was a lot of my childhood. After finishing the last book I felt very accomplished as a reader, having read and <laughs> understood a very uh, popular and amazing series. I was kind of sad when the last book ended because that was like my childhood. Like, it's over now, what am I supposed to do? Immediately after finishing the last book, I went ahead and looked back to the front cover and I started over again. I felt kind of relieved after finishing the last book because it didn't leave any, it didn't leave me with any answers or questions that need to be answered. I believed I looked in the mirror and then I had a beard by the end of the series, and then that's when I realized my childhood was truly over. I felt like Harry Potter was like a really special story, and it was going to inspire a lot more stories by different authors in the future. Spellbinding. Inspiring. Amazing. Smashing. Magical. British. Well, Harry Potter has helped to define a generation of readers and foster their love for books. Uh, Harry Potter has definitely left a huge impact on the world. I think you can see it everywhere from popular culture um, to literacy rates soared because of Harry Potter. We have kids who would have normally never picked up a book who picked up these books uh, by J.K. Rowling, and they really developed a passion for reading. It encouraged writers to be more creative and made reading more interesting. It really opened people's mind, their, their imagination kind of side. I was a kid, I always thought of crazy things. Maybe that's why I'm crazy now, but who knows? I think that it has embedded in everyone that's read it or seen the movies a sense of that life can be magical and that you can believe in uh, yourself and believe in what you can do as a person. It set the standards of kind of like magic-based books, like nothing can top Harry Potter.